Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. My name is Ace and I got more TF2 commentary. And as you can already tell, of course, by the title and by the fact that I just lived through a heavy with the Atomic Bunk, or the uh, Bunk Atomic Punch is the official name. You can already tell that this video will be a quick video about, well, the Bunk Atomic Punch. And this is a weapon that a lot of you guys seem to enjoy. And when I first started to upload scout videos, you guys wanted to, to hear my two cents about it. So I'm going to give you my two cents about this specific item. Of course, it's a secondary. And the exact stats have actually, not that long ago, been buffed. Because it first was a effect duration of 6 seconds, but it got, like I said, buffed not too long ago to 8 seconds. And of course, the recharge time is a pretty simple 22 seconds where the consumption time is 1.2 seconds. Now this seems like a pretty awesome item for what I just did at the very beginning. This is the exact item as I, that I use as a scout, or if I switch to the scout if we are being spawn killed, or if the defenses are just a little bit too tough, and my team is not just getting the edge, so I use the atomic punch to get that temporary invulnerability so I can get past spawn and distract the enemy or just get entirely behind them like I did and potentially pick people off that are building up or are trying to reinforce or of course if the defenses are a bit too hard I can do the same thing but then of course I get past their defenses now this is also very nice if you are for, for example burning to death and there's no medic or medics are refusing to heal you or you can definitely tell that you are about to to die because you will have cornered yourself for example this is a very nice way to live through a lot of damage as you saw in the beginning that heavy was about to kill me so I took my bunk and then he couldn't kill me for eight seconds and those are very frustrating things for the enemy but very very good things for you now this is not entirely without any sacrifices you have to make as you can see you can't attack uh, but you can if you switch to your bat or have your bat out before you drink. You can actually use it to taunt kill, which is a very, very cheesy way. Like if you use the Sandman, you can do that uh, baseball move. Or try to do a home run. And if you are using the bunk in addition with that, you can't be killed while you're trying to taunt kill. And there have been a lot of videos of that. And it's a lot of fun to do. It's just cheesy as hell. But then again, that's just personal preference. I never, I've never been able to successfully do so. Perhaps that's why I'm maybe kind of sort of biased. Nonetheless, I can definitely tell why that would be satisfying. Um, also, like I said, the other sacrifices is that you, um, well, you, first of all, you can't attack, but you also don't have a secondary weapon. And this is where things get interesting, because you only have your scatter gun to be offensive with. Now, the scatter gun is, of course, an amazing weapon to be offensive with. But you do sacrifice your medium to long range uh, in comparison to the winger or the stock pistol. Or these days also with the guillotine. So especially when you use those six shots, those six shots are the only things you have. And this is also why I think if you are going to uh, go in a competitive scene or some serious gameplay, a lot of people don't really use this specific weapon for that reason. And also if you are directly going into competitive play, this weapon tends to be banned quite a bit. Because it makes you invulnerable for 8 seconds, and it t that tends to be considered overpowered, perhaps? Anyway, I tend to use this weapon only in the cases where I get spawn killed or the defenses are too tough when I'm playing a scout. But let me know what you think about this weapon. Do you think it's overpowered? Do you think it's not? I think it's alright, but I can definitely tell why it would be banned in competitive play. I'll catch you guys next time. Take care.